ready. People can't drive. What's going on, YouTube? And welcome back, Uncommon Sense Fam and Clan. It's your man, Uncommon Sense here. We're back at you again for another mobile review. Today's mobile review is going to be on a fragrance that I don't have much experience from the fragrance house. It's a niche fragrance from Parfums de Marlin. Fragrance is Hab Dan. You already know what this is. Y'all know what y'all came here for. We about to get into this thing. Let's go. Every single day. system I said by subscription I was a little intrigued because I hadn't seen too many if any from Parfums de Marley in my set by subscription and was thinking about moving over to royalty sets because I know that they have a larger selection so I was initially intrigued because the fellas in Fracom hype up Parfums de Marley so I figured I would check it out and see what the fuss is about Partially because since I don't have any experience with them, I don't have a reason to not. Aside from trying to stay away from the hype, sometimes the hype is right, sometimes it's not. So we're gonna give this a shot and see where we land. Let's get us a spritz, huh? Let's get two. From what I can tell off top, this is a gourmand. And the initial blast and opening, <clears throat> Some a little dry in there that makes me feel like I need to clear my throat. I want to say I pick up leather in the opening. <clears throat> That's a joke. Let's give that a little time to dry down. Like I said, I want to say this is a gourmand because I smell something sweet in the background. Don't know what it is just yet. I purposely have not looked up any of the notes because I want this to not only be a first impression, I want it to be an unbiased review. In the opening, all I can say is I pick up leather. But see, I highly doubt that because I doubt a fragrance will use leather in the opening. I can tell you what that is, y'all. It's intriguing, though. In my opinion, I believe this fragrance leans a little masculine. I can't see many women wishing to smell like this. It's something a bit tough about it. Something that kind of sits up, kind of high. The detectable notes in this one right now, all I'm getting is some type of leather. Something a little metallic. In the top, In the mid, and the base, all right, so now I'm getting something a little sweet like baked goods, like a kind of dulce de leche or apple pie type of vibe mixed with a little bit of leather. That's all I'm really getting. As niche perfumery goes, the thing that will draw me is the use of unconventional ingredients, the use of extremely natural ingredients cruelty free long lasting great quality I'm not going to bag on Parfum de Marley as a house but I will say I don't smell 
in here what commands a $150 price tag. Denied. Right. And don't get me wrong, it does smell good. And I'm gonna give it a few wearings. I paid for it after all. Maybe my expectations are too high. You know, as frag heads, we expect the, to be moved and our life to be changed by, with each progressive sniff, that's not always the case. Sometimes the fragrance just is okay, and that's okay. But that's the thing I like about my Scentbox subscription. I get to try fragrances out and that's it. Don't have to do a whole bunch of blind buying or... Okay, so I'm still getting that leather accord vibe note but now i'm getting like a caramel apple some of those metallic slash sour in there too so it's going through some phases that opening leaves a lot to be desired will not lie about that i will see wearing a fragrance like this in the fall around now Maybe winter. So there's a gourmand. I know winter time is usually prime time for the gourmands. Pretty out today. All the trees and leaves are changing colors. You got the greens, the golds, the reds. This is the time that I'm starting to enjoy the weather visually. Not being in it, I don't like to be cold. I'd rather be hot than cold. But, let's get back to the review. Price, this is going for upward of 150 for 3.4 place. I'm not sure where I will wear this. It's something definitely go mind about it. You know what this reminds me of? This fragrance reminds me of my dad's second favorite cookie. And one of my favorite cookies as a result. Lorna Doom, mixed with like some caramel performance. Don't know the performance on this one, but I'm gonna give it a full wearing to that. Matter of fact, go ahead and get it right in time. I'm wearing it to work. Partially because I'm gonna be there for the most part by myself. I may come into contact with maybe three people today from various departments and other places in the building. I would think in a romantic situation, possibly on a date, would be a good place to wear it. I haven't been getting many compliments because I'm not around many people. Um, but I've been saying this from the jump. I don't particularly wear my fragrances for compliments. If I get one, great. I'm gonna be thankful and gracious and appreciate the compliment, but that is not my soul goal. Not my soul goal in wearing fragrances. I'm a fragrance fanatic. I love to smell good, look good, all of those things. It projects moderately. I'm smelling it, of course, in my own about one and a half feet radius. It does have somewhat of a refined gentleman smell. I will say this, it's grown. It's a grown man. I won't say mature, it is distinguished. You're gonna know that a, a gentleman of class and substance stepped in the room if they have this on. I do like that. This communicates a little bit of status, possibly some wealth. And again, a lot of things we do is nonverbal communication. Also, that's probably another reason why I like fragrance. I can say a lot without having to say a word. In all your ways, most times you're communicating even when you're silent. Another reason probably why I like fragrance and dressing nicely is mostly for myself, but it's a way to communicate and express myself in a way where I don't have to say anything. Folks around you can come to their own conclusions which they're gonna do anyway. What do I rate it on first impressions, you ask? At this particular point, I'm not, I'm not really moved. You like feathery, apple. 
that's what I'm giving it. To give it a rating, I'm gonna give it a six and a half. We'll see how it dries down and wears throughout the day. I'll update you guys with what my experience is later in the day. Until then, it's been your boy on Common Sense. Appreciate you guys coming with me on this mobile ride along, this ride and review. on YouTube. We're back again for the second installment of our update for Parfum de Marley Habdan. So I've been at work, actually in office. I've been at work for roughly eight hours and we're going to update on the performance of Parfum de Marley's Habdan. In my experience, there was not a lot of projection on this one. I can slightly smell it when I tuck into my shirt. However, the fragrance does have a familiar feel to something that I have in my collection, or well, three somethings. I actually mixed them together and ended up with something that smells very close to Parfum de Marley's Habdan. All in all, it's a very nice fragrance. I just don't believe it is for me worth commanding the $200 plus price tag at this point, especially since it does not smell 100% unique, nor does it really knock my socks off. With that being said, is it a cop or drop? Fortunately for me, it's a drop. I'm not on the hook to spend $200. So, all things considered, it's not a must have. I'm thankful for the experience and everything that came along with it. What else the house offers and if my mind changes. Until then, I'll be blessed with not having to spend $200 on the fragrance. That is not my mind. I can still smell it slightly after about eight hours. So I'm gonna actually rate it at eight in performance or longevity. Price, I'm gonna rate it a five. Projection, I'm going to rate it a six and a half. That's gonna wrap up my mobile review for Parfum de Marley's Half Dam. And again, it's your boy Uncommon Sense. And I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, the top, the sides, and all the way around. And I'm out. Till next time. All right, y'all.